A uh, very scary and tragic story involving a uh, murderous attack against the family of a judge. The son of a federal judge in Newark has been shot and killed, and her husband shot and injured in an attack at the family's home, according to law enforcement sources. The judge, Esther Salas, was not hurt. Right now, there is a suspect, a white man who wore a face covering and a FedEx uniform, according to law enforcement sources. He used an ordinary car to make a getaway and remains at large as of when we're filming this. The gunman apparently knocked on the door 5 p.m. Sunday. Mark Andrel uh, answered the door and was shot first before his son was also shot. The husband is in critical condition. The son tragically passed away. And uh, the mayor of North Brunswick said that as a judge, she's had threats from time to time, but everyone is saying that recently there had not been any. And I... People in the chat know where this is going. I feel uncomfortable even bringing this up, but... People have to wonder if it is tied to the fact that last week she was assigned to oversee a class action lawsuit filed by a group of investors against Deutsche Bank, contending that the firm failed to flag questionable transactions that were made from the account of the financier Jeffrey Epstein, who died last August while in jail, awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. We have no idea. Regardless of what the impetus for it was, it does seem to be targeting a judge for their job, which is just the worst possible thing you can imagine and how much i mean she lost her her child already and could theoretically uh lose her husband what a sad story i mean it's absolutely tragic especially that's chilling opening the door and then being shot point blank like that is so scary and and let's be honest like when we're talking about those transactions and what shady sources they might have come from, we're talking about drug traffickers. We're talking about the mafia. We're talking about people who drop bodies on the regs because, like, that's how they operate. This is the business model. You know, if we're talking about sex traffickers, that's also the business model, you know. But it, I mean, and this is, it's hard. It's hard because a lot of the mainstream media won't cover it because it does feel really out there. But we'd be very naive to pretend that drug traffickers and child, I mean, and, and sex traffickers and, and these kinds of like, you know, dark force, not dark forces. Gosh, I sound like a QAnon person when I say that, but you know what I mean? Like these really, really shady figures and in shady industries don't exist. Like we'd be idiots. We know that in 2008, like part of the reason that the entire financial system didn't collapse was because there was a lot of drug money running through our system. And it was like, Oh, that was still going strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So look, I, yeah, and, and I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I understand a lot of people's speculation is that it has to be tied to this particular case, and maybe it does. Um, it certainly seems like the family was was targeted. I, I yeah, I feel uncomfortable speculating. I, I, I don't want our country to become a place where judges, like we have, there, there are other countries, not far away. Mexico has this where judges and mayors and police chiefs oh, yeah. are, are hunted and, and gunned down. I don't want that to be our country so i don't know is it scarier if it is an attack against the judge because of one or another of her cases or is it just that no we have so much domestic terrorism these days that it just happens randomly you know we have so many boogaloo boys and the militias and all that stuff that i mean can we really say in any particular attack what what the cause actually was both of those are unacceptable um explanations yeah. I think what's what's upsetting and what's hard is when we don't ask questions and we don't sort of like, hey, Deutsche Bank was laundering some money. Oh, da, da, da. like there are there. This is based in facts. Like we don't have to just speculate. But when there is a complete blackout, when we don't talk about it or ask any questions, I think that's when it almost leads to more conspiracy um, because it feels strange that we're not even mentioning that. Hey, this judge was put on an Epstein case, and there's maybe that's anyway. No, am I am I weird for even you yeah. know? So I think that without f spreading false information, there's got to be a way to talk about these issues without leaving it to like a cold case podcast five years from now. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, I mean, just feel horrible for, for the family. Um, just got to be Absolutely. devastating, regardless of the cause. Chub Toad sends in a super chat saying that the suspect was found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Oh, wow. Um, okay, assuming that that is true... I mean, that is hardly going to tamp down people's wondering what the cause was, that a body turns up already dead and can't be questioned. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I can't say more because I don't know these details, but we'll see. We'll see. Jesus.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.